Hi everyone, welcome back to um, my Meals of the Week video. Um, so the first meal I've got to show you is we had these um, jacket potatoes. I just did these in the oven and these come, I got the Iceland um, chicken tikka masala packets you can get for the Indian takeaway style. And I just put those on top of the jacket potatoes and I just served that with a bit of cheese. And um, we're having quite quick meals this week so far so yeah just just a simple jacket potato for tonight then next up um i brought this from iceland this was the chicken and chorizo pasta um again i just wanted to buy some quick meals that we could quickly have just before our holiday so yeah you just literally fry this in um, a frying pan and it only takes about I'd say about 10 or 15 minutes all together to just warm up and that's what it looked like so we had um, a portion of that each um, it was actually more than enough for two people and I would definitely buy this again I think it's like three pound a bag but yeah that's what we had for dinner tonight so for dinner today I was out about in town and I just really fancied some kind of pasta bake so we went to Marks and Spencer's today and I just picked up this little assortment. I think it was about £12.50 for the lot. Um, I've been wanting to try this pomegranate dressing on my salad for ages and it is really, really nice. Um, so I'll definitely have to buy that again. And I got a chicken pasta bake, which I think was reduced to three seventy five. I think it's normally around £5 something. So I picked up that and then just for the salad, I just did lettuce. Uh, cucumber tomatoes with a side of garlic bread the garlic bread was only about a pound but yeah that was it all dished up again just a really quick meal and it was honestly probably one of my favorite meals of the week so yeah we'll definitely buy that again so for our meal tonight it was kind of um just kind of find anything in the freezer i can go i think i was on a late shift tonight um so i had these chicken strips I think I got from Iceland and then I just chucked some potato wedges in there and I had a few um the hash brown waffles you can get from Aldi as well and I just served that with some gravy but yeah just a very simple quick dinner for us um tonight again I when I'm on my late shifts I only tend to have like 20 minutes to be able to cook something so yeah that was just a quick whack in the freezer and go so for tonight's dinner, um, I didn't make this, we ordered this from a local Chinese, um, we just had some chicken curry and it comes with peas and mushrooms and onions and some egg fried rice and then I have a chicken and sweet corn soup as a starter. We pretty much mostly I always have the same thing when we <laughs> go to a Chinese but yeah I really want to, I kind of got the sauce and everything else down to make my own version at home but I can never get the chicken quite right. I'm still trying to practice velvet in the chicken but yeah that's um just fancy the takeaway for tonight so yeah that's what we had so yeah for tonight's dinner i completely forgot to take a picture of what we had um so my friend was staying around and we had fish chips and mushy peas but again i forgot to take the picture um but my partner's not that keen on fish so i brought him this mac and cheese pies from Aldi, um, it's new, I think it's in the frozen section, it was around £1.19, um, but it was just a quick little mac and cheese pot, he said it was quite nice, so I'd pick him up one of those next time again, and I couldn't really find any chips or anything, so I just chucked some waffles on the side for him, um, but yeah, that, that was what my partner had for lunch, at least for today. So for our next dinner, um, we just had one of these each. So this is the absolutely banger um, Aldi copycat of the Domino's ones. Um, you can find it in their freezer section. It's in like a blue box. But again, this was this was actually quite tasty as well. I do still prefer the Chicago Town ones. But yeah, this was a good cheap alternative. So yeah, just a simple quick oven dinner for us again tonight. Then next up, um, I went to Iceland, I saw they did Cumberland sausages and it reminded me of um, a meal I used to have when I was younger. We used to always get them from Asda, I remember, I don't think Asda sells them anymore, but I saw Iceland was doing them so I picked them up and I just served them with some southern fried chips you could get from Iceland as well as the chicken popsters that I had in the freezer and I just put some mayonnaise on top. So yeah, that's what we had for dinner tonight. To be fair, they weren't the sausages weren't that great. It wasn't as like fun <laughs> as a memory as I was hoping for. 
but yeah it was still quick and easy dinner for us um so yeah that's what we had for dinner tonight uh then next up i think it was one of my days off and i made this chicken stock soup um that it tastes like three to four hours to cook i think i've showed part of it before in another video but yeah it's made from the chicken bones um so you have to let that cook for like three hours to get all the chicken stock off it and then you just drain it take apart the chicken and there's like sweet onions and potatoes and there's some like parsley in there and uh, yeah it's just all mixed together it's, it takes a while but it is really really tasty so you should give this um a try one day but yeah that's what we had for dinner tonight so next up i made some uh beef burgers so these were from aldi i think they were the jalapeno and just normal beef burgers they were like quarter pound ones and i just said that was some mozzarella on top and i served them with the new aldi burger buns they were really really nice i will definitely um buy these again and i just served that with some fries on the side there um i did want some like more like cheesy to go on our cheesy fries but yeah i didn't have any at the time because we're this is when we were starting to like run out of food before we go on holiday so it was all just very kind of quick last minute, minute meal so next up i just made like a slow cooker bolognese i always fry my mince before i put it in this slow cooker and then i just add all my ingredients in there and i just let it sit for about six to eight hours because again i was on the late shift and i just served this with some pasta the pasta's hidden underneath there somewhere <laughs> and just um, a little bit of cheese on top and yeah again i do really like it i think i probably prefer it when it's in the slow cooker because it kind of gives it a lot more flavor but yeah that's what we had then last but not least um i had a chicken korma again this was in the slow cooker and i just did some rice in a um it's like a rice pot cook because um we was on completely different shifts tonight so i can kind of um keep them both warm and we can kind of have it separate when we want but yeah i just used um, a jar sauce again from aldi with the aldi poppadoms and yeah it was just um, kind of just a very quick and easy meals this week uh, but yeah i'm currently in sorrento on holiday at the moment so hopefully there'll be another vlog up soon but yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I had for my meals before we went. <laughs> 